that you got the word with you, you ought to be able to go a little deeper. Oh, God, help me. I said, now you got the word in you and with you, you ought to be able to stand more stuff. You ought to be able to go deeper. Stuff ought not affect you like it once did. Because now you got the word I wish I, in you. what Peter's doing now. Peter allows Jesus. He renders, watch this y'all, he renders his resources to the ministry. His boat is his source of revenue. And he renders his resources to the ministry. And when he, ren he renders his resources Jesus is able to use his resources to be a blessing, not just to Peter, but somebody else. See, Peter is saying, Jesus, what I have may not be much, but I'm willing to use it for the kingdom. So Jesus gets into his boat and starts preaching. And Peter is saying, I'm willing to let you use my resources, watch this, y'all, for the advancement of the kingdom. Because he said, listen, I want you to go deeper. So I need your resource. I need you to take this boat to another level. I need to use this boat because I'm about to take you and everybody in this boat to a whole nother level. His money maker. Y'all, maybe that's the reason why some of us never get our minds blown. Because we never give God what we have first. I ain't making it up, y'all. See, 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 when you give God what you have, You'll not beat God given because you are not, God will not let you beat him given. I don't care what you have. This is what he said, give. And he'll give it back to you. Good measure, press down, shaking together, and running over. You can't beat God given. You got to learn how to open your mind and allow God to use your resources. The reason why some of us struggle is because we don't want to let God use our resources to take you to another level. I understand. I understand you went to school and, and you, 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 you got all that training and you smart and you know how to help yourself. But God said, if you don't want me to show you how to make it, see, I, I, I told him, this, here it is, here it is, here it is, here it is. It is. There, there were two dogs. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. There was this Chihuahua and this pit bull. Uh -huh. The pit bull challenged the Chihuahua and told him, he said, you see that door? I can get that door open quicker than you. The Chihuahua said, okay, you first. <laughs> Pit bull jumps up on the dog knob and he grabs it and he just starts wrestling. I mean, and he just tugging and tugging and tugging because he's a pit bull, big pit bull, right? And he just tugging on the dog. And finally, he gets it open and he comes back. He said, I got it. It's your turn now. The Chihuahua goes to the door and he straights with his power. And the master opened the door. <laughs> See, God will let you struggle with some stuff that you think you can do in your own strength. But if you open up your mind and learn how to trust God and say, God, I can't do it by myself. How many of you know God will open some door that you can't open? God will make
make some ways that you can't make it. Is there anybody in here right now that know God will make a way out of no way? Okay, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Here it is, here it is, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Disappointment can confuse your mind, get liberation when you change your mind, but watch this. God blows your mind. I mean, when you open your mind, you get liberated, but God will blow your mind when you change your mind. Oh, God. <laughs> Peter has opened up his mind, now God getting ready to show him something. Because Jesus tells him to let down your net, launch out in the deep, let down your net for a catch. Yeah. Now Peter says, I toil all night long and I caught nothing. But at your word, I'm going to do what you say. Are y'all hearing me? And when Peter does it, the Bible says when he had did this, he said he caught so many fish that his net started to break. And that's all I'm trying to tell somebody. When you learn how to trust God at his word and step out on faith at his word, when you change your mind about how you think about the word of God, thinking that you can make it on your own, God is going to blow your mind. Is there anybody in here that know what I'm talking about? The Bible said that Peter caught so many fish that his net started to break. And when his net began to break, Peter had sense enough to know that he couldn't handle everything by himself. Peter didn't say, let me get a bigger boat. Now nah, Peter said, I got some partners over there. See, God knows how to bless you when you learn how to share your blessing with somebody else. When you learn how to be a blessing with somebody else to somebody else, God will bless you with even more. And I wonder if I got anybody here that know when you learn how to bless folk. It wasn't until you learn how to be a blessing that God started really blessing you. And Peter said, the Bible says his friends came and caught so many fish that they too, their nets too were breaking. But when they got to land, this is what blew my mind. The Bible say they forsook all and followed Jesus. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I thought this is what they came for. Fish. The Bible say when they got to land, they left the fish and started following Jesus. Y'all ain't getting that. They were looking for some money. I'm gonna break it to the, the 21st century. They were look. They were out there playing the lottery. And when they hit the lottery, they got the land. They left the lottery money and started following Jesus. Because if I'm been out there trying to get it, and I'm trying to make money and make a living, why would I leave everything behind once I got it? Are y'all ready? Because when you got Jesus, you understand that if you got it one time, you can get it again. I, I, I mean, listen, then I'm not going to be a one-time if Jesus can fill my boat this time, I understand that if I just keep following him, fish ain't gonna never be a problem. And that's all I'm trying to tell somebody here today. If you learn how to follow Jesus, whatever you need in your life will never be a problem. Is there anybody here that know what I'm talking about? If you learn how to put your trust in the Lord and you learn how to follow him, how many of you know he's able to supply your every need? How many of you know when your enemies get on your track, he'll make your enemies your footstool? When you follow Jesus, you don't have to worry about what folks say about you because no weapon formed against you will be able to prosper. And I'm so glad that I made up in my mind that I'm a follow Jesus all the way. It doesn't matter how bad things get. I'm going to put my hand in the Lord's hand. 
because I got a feeling, I got a sneaky suspicion that when you put your hand in the Lord's hand, he's able to make a way out of no way. For 75 years, you've gone through some hard times. You've had some ups and you had some downs. But look at you. You're still here after 75 years. Because when you make up in your mind that you're going to follow Jesus, God will never let you come up empty. Ain't God all right? Tell your neighbor, just grab him by the hand and say, neighbor, if you just trust in the Lord, he will supply your every need. Keep your hand in the Lord's hand because God's got a way of working everything out for your good and for his glory. I made up in my mind that I'm going to follow Jesus. Let the storm rise. Let the wind blow. But I'm going to follow Jesus all the way. I started out a long time ago, but there's no doubt in my mind. I decided to make Jesus my choice. The road make it rough. The going make it tough. The hill make it hard to climb. But I started out a long time ago, and there is no doubt in my mind. Ain't God all right? Ain't he all right? Just put your arms around your neighbor and say, neighbor, I'm here to encourage you. God will blow your mind if you just wait on him, if you just trust in him, if you just hold on just a little while longer. God is going to do some things that'll blow your mind. And if you need a testimony, when I put my hands on you, just in case you need a testimony, just in case you need to know what a miracle is, just put your hands on me, because I am a living testimony. I didn't make it up on my own. It was Jesus that gave me the opportunity. And I'm here to say, I'm a living testimony. Ain't God all right? Ain't he, ain't he? Ain't he all right? Ain't he, ain't he? Say yeah. Say yeah. Say yeah. Yeah. I know he's all right. Come on, bless his name. Come on, give God some praise. Come on, give God some praise. God has blown your mind. That house you live in, you don't deserve it. But God gave it to you. The car you drive, it was God that blew your mind. Folk looking at you, wondering how you got what you got. But tell somebody, you don't know, like I know, what the Lord has done for me. And if you quit hating on me, it ain't no secret what God can do. What he done for others, he'll do the same, same thing for you. Ain't he all right? 